And what do you do at Cedar? I am a jack of all trades, master of none. Okay. <laughs> um, my main role is to in ensure that we have a lot of fantastic opportunities and activities for um, the members of Cedar who come to our activity hub based on the outskirts of uh, Exeter. Uh, to make sure they have fun and exciting opportunities, push them a little bit, give them uh, new skills to further their personal development and improve their life in ways that they probably didn't even know they could do. Okay, it sounds really good. So disability being no object. Absolutely. It's been the kind of ethos of the organisation for the last what, over 25 years now and um, we've been working in Exeter and, and the surrounding towns and villages around to help people achieve really impressive things. Okay, I used to do work experience at Diet. Oh, there you go then, you have a historical connection with us then. We are very, very different to how Dayak used to be. For a start, we're no longer based in a dingy, dark basement, which is a really good thing. Uh, we have some fantastic premises out on the Exeter Business Park uh, called the Clare Milne Centre. That's our activity hub, that's where we run a lot of our activities from. If we're not running them from there, then we're running them in different community centres and, and, and areas around the county, really and uh, it's full of fun and vibrancy and, and light and passion and, and a, a very different kind of atmosphere to the original Dayak that you might have remembered but the, the aims are still the same. And JD met me when I was at Dayak. I don't remember this. Is this true? Really? Right, mm. okay. So yes, because JD has been associated with uh, Cedar for quite a few years now. Uh, he was definitely there when I started and that was 10 years ago so uh, he's been there quite a while as well and he's helped out many many times in the past so he's sitting there now just all 10 years doesn't look like it does it Mm, where's it gone? <laughs> Where has and it gone? did he like the Wombles <laughs> and the Smurfs then? no <laughs> okay personal joke uh, okay. okay. So Chris, what I'm what I'm actually talking about, as well as Cedar, is we're doing a really fantastic event next Tuesday, which um, I want to inform everyone about, which is called My Big Challenge. Do you want me to talk about it now? Yes, yeah? please. All right, so uh, My Big Challenge, the event that we're holding is going to be up at the Exeter University Sports Park uh, next Tuesday from 11 a.m. It's free to attend. Uh, anybody can come along, but obviously we are encouraging people who want to challenge themselves at doing something slightly different. Um, My Big Challenge has actually been a year-long project at CEDAR, um, working with all of our members, both adults and children, to uh, try different things. You know, really challenge themselves. So it could be holding a tarantula in their hand and having it run around in front of them. It could be kind of getting into a pony carriage and doing some pony riding. Um, could be music related, so we've done some drumming and some DJ skills. Could be arts and crafts, it could be anything. And the event is bringing all of those things together in one venue to give other people an opportunity to uh, have a go at doing them as well. And experience new things. Definitely experience new things. I think a couple of the kind of key things that people are gonna wanna come up and try. We've got a fantastic guy, he's called Joe. He's the Repto Bug Man. And he's come to see the quite a few times, but he has his own personal collection of creepy crawlies, spiders, snakes, crickets. Oh, JD's shaking away, you've seen him. Um, and obviously a big challenge for some people is getting over their fear of having to maybe be in a close proximity to those sorts of creepy crawlies and creatures. And we're doing it at, uh, on Tuesday in a nice safe environment to really push cool. people's challenge. So um, it would be come along and try. Come along and try, absolutely. As I said, pony riding if the weather is dry. I don't think they'll allow us the pony in the sports hall, to be fair. Uh, we've got a trim trail as well, which is a, a, a walk around the um, Exeter University Sports Park with different gradients of um, ramps and levels and things that people can test themselves on. Um, we're going to have music, so we're going to have some bands playing. We're going to have some taiko drumming going on as well. 
um, and refreshments too. So it's going to be an all day event really where people can come along and take part. It sounds really interesting and um, so do see the have a website where this is all promoted. See that yeah you can get online via two ways you can get onto our Facebook page which is the most up-to-date version of um, activities that are happening and that is going to be at facebook.com forward slash cedar online uh, or you can go to our website which is www.cedaronline.org.uk okay and that will be on our facebook page well it would have been on our facebook page now but i'm not that good at time you can't multitask is that what it is yeah <laughs> Well, I am a man. As that's they what they say. say. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say. Absolutely. But you, you might maybe that could be your big challenge. You can come along and multitask and do two things at once at the big challenge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. So yes, that all sounds good, and it all sounds really inspirational. So. Please come along and have a go. That's the idea. Okay. Well, so the listeners don't get so, um, not, I was going to say bored, but that's <laughs> not a good way. Um, so we can break it up. I think I should play a tune and then we can talk some more about it. That sounds a good idea. Let's play it for all those people not doing their work at Cedar, shall we? <laughs> okay, and let shall we give a big shout out to all the people at Cedar? Go on then. Okay, so all the people at Cedar, this is for you. Very good, Chris. Very good. <laughs> so, do some work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think um, I think I, I, they, they they are doing work. I just know they were taking a pause to listen to what we were doing on on here today. So um, I must say thank you to Helen, who who is taking my group this, this morning, uh, teaching people all about what to do in an emergency. So I could probably do with her later on. I run. Yeah, run, run. I ta the I, the emergencies I've left them today. Um, they, they've had uh, what to do if you witness a um, if you get sunburnt so how to treat yourself if you get sunburnt um, what to do if you see someone who has a seizure and what was the last one? Oh, I can't remember now <laughs> anyway they, they have three different scenarios each week and they have to put together like a, a what to do guide which has been really interesting and I'm, I'm missing out on it today to be here with you today and JD has Oh, I said that all the work that Cedar do is very worthwhile. Well, that's very, very nice of him to say so. I, I think so. Um, I've been there now myself for 10 years and been a part of lots of change, which has been really, really good and positive. But the one thing that Cedar does is it's kind of always kept its core values to its heart and, and always followed followed those which um, really makes for a, a family feel organisation but still an organisation that works with over you know, over 200 different people in the area uh, with a team of staff and volunteers as well who without their, without their work and support would just, it wouldn't happen at all. Well because also see that you're hiding your bushel under a tree, I can't remember the sack. But Cedar also helped ISCA wheelchair dancers get to a competition in Wayne. We did. Gosh, yes, that was a couple of years ago. That was your first national competition, wasn't yeah. it? And, uh, and yes, uh, Cedar supplied the accessible transport because we have a, 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 a fleet. I say a fleet, a couple of accessible vehicles and a nice large minibus that's very wheelchair accessible. Yes, and we went to Weymouth, didn't we? Yeah. And we I, did. I came along just for the day out. It was a fun day out, I must well, say. Well, then I think you were driving the other bus. Oh, all right, yeah, that might be something as well. <laughs> yeah, but but uh, but no, that was a really fun thing, yes. So, so Cedar do like to make partnerships with other organisations where we can. 
Um, we're, we're not a charity that just keeps ourselves to ourselves. Uh, we receive um, a significant amount of funding from different charitable bodies and we want to work with different organisations as well and provide opportunities for other organisations and um, maybe residential places in the area as well, working with uh, disabled people all over the county. Well, I put a big hearty thank you out because I really enjoyed the way this trip and I like the wheelchair dancing, so thank you. You're very welcome. You're very, and you've been on further trips since, haven't you? Yeah, uh, we went up to Watford and last year we went up to Manchester. Uh, is, it, is it looking good for this year as well? Um, <laughs> I'm going up to Manchester. Manchester. Right. Everything's going to Manchester these days. Manchester yeah. seems to be the hip place to be. I think we should keep it here in Exeter. <laughs> Life in Exeter. Yeah, it would place. be much easier. <laughs> it would be. I'm just looking at JD's tablet here. He's got he's got a Google Map view of uh, of our activity hub. It looks like <laughs> just reminding him where he was probably about a couple of hours ago. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so the, remind you where you're going to where, we, where, where, where I've got to go after here. <laughs> yes, absolutely. It's <laughs> getting JD. <laughs> Thank you for helping our guests. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen enough of that car park, I must say. <laughs> I'll tell you something that we've got coming up later on in the year, and um, whether it's going to happen at Cedar or not, is we're, we're going to be involved in the nationwide campaign called The Big Gig. We like things with the word big in it at Cedar. <laughs> big yeah. challenge and a big gig. Uh, we held one last year, it was fantastic, and we're going to probably do something very similar this summer. So I recommend that um, people join our Facebook page to keep up to date so they know more about all the other events that CEDAR are running, as well as all the workshops and activities that we deliver for adults and children. Um, JD, mm -hmm. could you possibly put the CEDAR website on our face? Yes, I'll do that for you, yes. Okay, thank you. He's on it. <laughs> yeah. Delegation. <laughs> delegation. I, I was only talking to someone the other day about delegation <laughs> and how I used to be really bad at it and now I'm doing it all and yet I'm still ended up being here. <laughs> Is that a negative thing? No, not at all. Not at all. I think it's very positive in my own personal development over the last 10 years at Cedar. <laughs> okay. Um, so shall we play a bit of Billy Ocean, get out of my car and into my dreams and that was another cat track for all the cat a uh, track for all the people at Cedar who are enjoying the radio show and thank you for listening. So, Craig, would you like to tell us a bit more? About the big challenge? Or yeah, big challenge? the Absolutely. big challenge. So um, just, just to recap, it's going to be happening next Tuesday, the 18th of February, at the Exeter University Sports Park. So that's on the main campus ground of Exeter University, right up the top of the hill. Um, there's plenty of parking. Well, there is, there is parking, and the bus does go up there as well if you're on public transport and uh, it starts at 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. ish and uh, yeah it's going to be a fantastic day where you can come along and try out lots of different activities that are associated with CEDAR. Okay, um, so well I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for coming in and talking about CEDAR which sounds like a wonderful organisation. Thank you very much for having me. Okay, it's a pleasure. I'll be sure to bring a rabble of them in next time. Okay, <laughs> well I'm not sure we can fit a rabble. True, true, maybe just... Um, one or two, or even just the smallest people we we can find. Yeah, we'll have to shrink them. I'll in. shrink them down. Okay. <laughs> so, in a few months, another interview with Cedar. All being well, that'd be good. Uh, anticipation. So I believe we have a bit of Adele with someone like you.
Brilliant. Okay, well done. You see how the team works.